Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where the past comes alive with facts, anecdotes, and a dash of humor. Here are your hosts, Chuck and Marco. Welcome to the History AI Podcast, where we dive into the annals of history to bring you detailed, lively accounts of some of the most pivotal moments in human history. I'm your host, Chuck. And I'm Marco. Today, we're journeying back to the Bronze Age, to a battle that has been etched in history for its grandeur and strategic brilliance, the Battle of Kadesh. Ah, Kadesh. Not just a battle, Marco, but a moment where empires clashed, where history could have taken a very different turn. Let's paint the picture of the world stage at the time of the Battle of Kadesh, shall we, Marco? We're talking about the Late Bronze Age, around 1274 BC. This was an era marked by sprawling empires, intricate diplomacy, and groundbreaking advancements in technology and culture. Absolutely, Chuck. The Egyptian Empire under Ramses II was flourishing. Architecture, arts, and religion were at their peak. Ramses, known for his ambitious building projects and military campaigns, was aiming to reinforce Egyptian dominance in the region. Meanwhile, not too far away, the Hittite Empire, centered in modern-day Turkey, was under the rule of King Muatali II. They were a formidable force, known for their advanced metallurgy and military prowess, especially their chariots, which were the tanks of the ancient world. And then there was the city of Kardesh. Strategically located on the Orontes River in present-day Syria, Kardesh was a linchpin in controlling trade routes and military movements between these great empires. Exactly, Marco. It was more than just a city. It was a symbol of power and control. Whoever held Kadesh held the key to supremacy in the Near East. The stage was set for a monumental clash. The mighty Egyptians, with their vast resources and seasoned army, versus the Hittite warriors, renowned for their skill in battle and tactical innovation. And let's not forget Marco, this was a time of great international relations too. Diplomacy, Treaties and marriages between royal families were common to secure alliances and peace. That's right. The world back then was a complex tapestry of alliances, rivalries, and political maneuvering. And the Battle of Kadesh was about to become the most dramatic thread in that tapestry. Now, let's delve into the prelude of this epic confrontation. The stage for the Battle of Kadesh wasn't set in a day. It was the culmination of a long-standing rivalry and strategic posturing between two great powers of the Bronze Age. Exactly, Chuck. The Egyptians under Ramses II had been steadily expanding their influence, eager to reclaim territories in Asia that they felt were rightfully theirs. Ramses, a young and dynamic ruler, was determined to leave a mark on history. He viewed the recapture of Kadesh not just as a military objective, but as a matter of prestige. On the other side, the Hittites under King Muatali II were equally ambitious. The Hittites had previously exerted control over Kadesh, and they were not about to give it up easily. For them, Kadesh was a buffer against Egyptian expansion and a critical point to control the trade routes. Tensions escalated when Ramses mobilized his army. This was a massive undertaking, Chuck. We're talking about four divisions named after Egyptian gods, Amun, Ra, Partha, and Seth, each consisting of thousands of soldiers, chariots, and support personnel. And let's not forget the logistics of such a campaign. Moving this army across the desert and ensuring a steady supply line was an incredible feat of organization and statecraft. Meanwhile, the Hittites were not idly waiting. King Muatali II, aware of the Egyptian movements, gathered his forces, which included not just Hittites, but also allies and mercenaries from across his empire. The stage was set for a clash of titans Marco. Both sides had their reasons to fight, their preparations in place, and their eyes on Kadesh. It was a powder keg waiting to explode, and the march towards Kadesh was the spark. Alright listeners, let's dive into the heart of our story, the actual clash at Kadesh. This wasn't just any battle, it was perhaps one of the largest chariot battles ever witnessed in history. You're right Chuck. The Egyptian forces approached Kadesh from the south. Ramses II, confident and perhaps a bit overzealous, divided his army into four divisions. He led the Amun division, while the others followed at some distance. And here's where Ramses made a critical error. He underestimated the Hittite presence. Muatali II had amassed a huge force, 
including some 3,500 chariots and perhaps 40,000 troops, strategically positioned behind the city. The Hittites were waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And that moment came when the Egyptian divisions were separated and vulnerable. The Hittite chariots, renowned for their speed and maneuverability, launched a surprise attack, catching the Ra division off guard and decimating it. The Egyptians were stunned Marco. Ramses, with the Amun division, found himself isolated and under heavy assault. The situation looked dire for the pharaoh. But Ramses II was not one to be easily defeated. He rallied his troops, displaying remarkable resilience and tactical acumen. The Egyptian chariots, heavier and slower, were initially at a disadvantage, but Ramses used this to his advantage, turning their strength into a mobile defensive wall. Meanwhile, the Ta and Seth divisions were rushing to join the fray. The battlefield was chaotic, a whirlwind of dust, clashing chariots, and fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat. The Hittites, underestimating the speed of the Egyptian reinforcements, found themselves caught in a prolonged engagement. What initially seemed like a swift victory for the Hittites turned into a grueling battle of attrition. It was a tactical chess game, with both sides maneuvering for advantage. Ramses, despite the initial setbacks, showcased his leadership by holding his ground and stabilizing the situation until the rest of his forces arrived. The battle raged on, with neither side gaining a decisive edge. As the sun set over Kadesh, both the Egyptians and the Hittites were exhausted, battered, but unbowed. It was a testament to the skill and tenacity of both these great armies. Now, let's talk about the heroics and the tactics that define the Battle of Kadesh. This wasn't just a clash of armies, it was a showcase of individual valor and strategic genius. Absolutely Chuck. Let's start with Pharaoh Ramses II himself. Amidst the chaos of the Hittite ambush, he stood as a beacon of resilience. According to Egyptian records, Ramses fought valiantly, rallying his troops, and even engaging in direct combat. That's right Marco. There's this legendary tale where Ramses, surrounded by enemies, is said to have charged into the fray, driving his chariot like a man possessed. It's these moments of bravery that have immortalized Ramses as a warrior king in history. On the Hittite side, we had King Muatali II, a brilliant tactician. The initial ambush of the Hittite chariots was a masterstroke. These chariots were lighter and faster than the Egyptian ones, designed for quick, devastating strikes. The Hittites also used their knowledge of the terrain to their advantage. They hid their chariots among the trees and hills around Kadesh, striking only when the Egyptians were vulnerable. And let's not forget the heroics of the common soldiers and charioteers. There are tales of incredible bravery from both sides, soldiers fighting back to back, charioteers rescuing fallen comrades, acts of valor that were the true backbone of this epic battle. Tactics-wise, the battle showcased some innovative strategies. Ramses, despite the initial setback, effectively used his chariots as mobile defense platforms, a tactic that was quite revolutionary for its time. The Hittites, on the other hand, demonstrated the power of surprise and mobility. Their chariots were not just tools of war, they were instruments of psychological warfare, striking fear in the hearts of their enemies. In the end, the Battle of Kadesh was as much a battle of wits and courage as it was of swords and chariots. It was these heroic tales and innovative tactics that have made Kadesh a subject of study and admiration through the ages. As the dust settled on the battlefield of Kadesh, it became clear that neither side had achieved a decisive victory. This stalemate, however, was far from insignificant. It led to a historical turning point in ancient diplomacy. That's right Chuck. In the immediate aftermath, both Ramses II and Muatali II claimed victory. For Ramses, maintaining the image of a triumphant pharaoh was crucial for his prestige. The walls of temples like Abu Simbel and Karnak depict vivid scenes portraying Ramses as the victor. Similarly, the Hittites also celebrated their success in repelling the Egyptians and protecting their territory. But here's where it gets interesting Marco. Despite their claims, both leaders recognized the futility of continued conflict. Exactly Chuck. The years following the battle saw a shift in priorities. Egypt, facing challenges elsewhere and realizing the strength of the Hittite forces, began to see the value in peace and stability over territorial expansion. And the Hittites, equally exhausted by the conflict and wary of other emerging threats, were open to negotiations. 
This mutual understanding led to one of the most remarkable events in ancient history, the signing of the Egyptian Hittite Peace Treaty. This treaty chak is a landmark in international diplomacy. It was not only about ending hostilities but also about establishing a framework for future cooperation and peace. The treaty included provisions for mutual defense, extradition, and even marital alliances. The Kadesh Treaty, which is the earliest surviving peace treaty in the world, stands as a testament to the foresight of these ancient leaders. It marked a transition from an era of territorial conquest to one of diplomatic relationships and set a precedent for international treaties. The impact of this treaty was profound. It ushered in a period of peace and prosperity for both empires. Trade flourished, cultural exchanges increased, and a new era of stability began in the region. The Battle of Kadesh and its aftermath reshaped the ancient Near East. It highlighted the importance of diplomacy over warfare and set a model for conflict resolution that resonates even today. As we reflect on the Battle of Kadesh, it's essential to acknowledge the human cost. This was one of the largest chariot battles in history, and the casualties were significant. Indeed Chuck. While the exact numbers are lost to history, estimates suggest thousands of soldiers perished on both sides. The carnage of the battle was not just a tally of numbers, it represented sons, fathers, and brothers from across the Egyptian and Hittite empires. The psychological impact on the survivors and their societies was profound. The horrors of war, combined with the respect for the bravery of those who fought, left a lasting mark on the collective memory of both civilizations. The lasting impact of the Battle of Kadesh goes beyond the immediate casualties. This battle, and the subsequent peace treaty, reshaped the political landscape of the ancient Near East. Absolutely Marco. The stalemate at Kadesh led to a significant shift in how conflicts were resolved. The Egyptian Hittite Peace Treaty, often considered a forerunner of modern international diplomacy, set a precedent for peaceful conflict resolution. And let's not forget the cultural and historical significance. The battle and the treaty are well documented in ancient texts and inscriptions. They provide invaluable insights into the politics, diplomacy, and warfare of the time. The Battle of Kadesh also had a lasting impact on military tactics, especially the use of chariots in warfare. Future generations of military leaders studied and learned from the tactics employed by Ramses II and Muatali II. The Battle of Kadesh was more than just a clash of two armies, it was an event that shaped the course of history. It highlighted the horrors of war, the valor of soldiers, and the importance of diplomacy, leaving a legacy that continues to be studied and admired thousands of years later. As we wrap up, let's remember the bravery, the strategy, and the sheer scale of the Battle of Kadesh, and how it shaped the destiny of nations. I'm always amazed at how history is interconnected, Chuck. Couldn't agree more, Marco. To our listeners, we thank you for joining us on this historical journey. Don't forget to rate, follow, and share the History AI podcast. Your support keeps history alive. Absolutely. And we love your topic suggestions. Reach out to us on social media with your ideas. Until next time, keep exploring history. Signing off, this is Chuck. And Marco, keeping history alive. Step into the thrilling world of sports betting with the starting line an introduction to sports betting. Whether you're a beginner or simply curious, this comprehensive guide takes you from the basics to the advanced. Learn to decode odds, develop winning strategies, and bet responsibly. Get your copy now and transform every game into an adventure. The starting line is your first step towards mastering the art of sports betting. Available on Amazon.